Today, we're making arguably the most expensive mead possible. Let's get started. All right, so this is expensive for one main reason. I have the mead finished right here. And I'm about to open a bottle, of course. I only have three bottles of it, but let me go ahead and tell you the price of this mead. These three bottles in total are six are worth about $60. Now, not 60 a piece, it'd be 20 a piece. And the reason they're so expensive is because I used Manuka honey. Now, if you know anything about Manuka honey, when you go through the store, uh, Whole Foods or whatever, it's normally only available in health food stores. It's pretty dang expensive. I was walking through, um, I think it was Sprouts, and I found this Manuka honey, and it said 60 bucks, and I, I, you know, had to, had to step back and go, that's such a good deal, I need to do this. So, clearly, that was calling my name. I went ahead and bought this 1.1 pound of Manuka blossom honey for $60, or $59.99. That, of course, prompted me to want to make a mead with it. So, um, what I did was I decided, I'm going to make what will total out to be a third of a gallon of mead. I used the ratio of normally about three pounds of honey for a gallon. So this is obviously one third of a gallon, roughly. So here's my magical recipe. And this is, I'm going to go ahead and give you the um, third of a gallon recipe, of course. And then if you are adventurous and want to go and be super bougie, here is the full gallon recipe. So let's go ahead and walk through the process. But first, let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so I've gone ahead and poured it. So you can see it looks pretty dang good. I did arguably pour the least clear one, um, frankly. They all have a little bit of a particulate to it. Um, I found that Manuka Blossom Honey has a lot of solids. So I, I lost a little extra mead, I would say, during this process. So what was the process? Well, like every single mead, you need to get your ingredients, which showed earlier. I have some equipment. I used some half gallon fermenters for this brew. Um, you might not have that, but if you're using, you could use a one gallon fermenter if you needed to. The issue would be aging on such a, in a big container. So anyways, I used a half gallon fermenter. I went ahead and mixed in my honey, my water, my yeast. And of course I added a little bit of Fermate O for nutrients because if I'm gonna spend all this money on honey, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna ferment well. Mix that up, took a gravity reading. We were starting at about 1.102. That took roughly about two weeks to ferment out and it was hard to tell exactly when it was done fermenting exactly because the mead didn't really clear up naturally easily. Uh, sometimes things will fall down at the end of fermentation and I felt like this one after finishing at 1.000, did not clear up naturally. It, it had some difficulties. So coming out of the primary state, what I did was I put it into another half gallon container and I went ahead and cold crushed it. So I threw it into my little fridge over here and it sat, it has sat now for about two, a week and a half or so. Then of course I went ahead and bottled it because you know, had, that had to happen. I got three bottles out of this thing, or out of the brew. These are 375 milliliters. I believe that if you were to have a full gallon of this, you would get roughly about nine to 10 um, estimated bottles. So I got three out of what came out to be about a little over a third of a gallon, possibly. So all of that, let's go ahead and taste this ridiculously expensive mead. Well, let's smell it first. Manuka honey has its own... Um, it is aromatic with damp earth and heather notes and a cool menthol or eucalyptus, taste and rich flavor of mineral, barley, sugar and herbs. It is medium sweet with a slightly bitter aftertaste. 
in a weird I mean, backstory, first of all. So here's a little bit of history on Manuka honey. Amnuka honey is produced by European honeybees, Apis mellifera, foraging on the Amnuka. Australia before the onset of the mite. The biggest thing that people tote is that it has a much higher antioxidants and stuff like that. There is no conclusive evidence of medicinal or dietary value in using Amnuka honey other than as a sugar substitute. I mean, it's found, obviously. It's not very easy to get a hold of, which makes it more expensive. It does provide a very interesting nose. You do get a lot of floral warmth. It's not bright floral. It is like a mild to dark. Yeah. I wish this thing... I probably could have gone and cold crashed again after racking it, but the nose is huge on this. There's a ton of big florals. Here we go. Okay. It's got a, um, it does have a little bit of a medicinal, like when you have like cough syrup, obviously that has like its own like, uh, flavor normally it's cherry or it's whatever wild berry or something this has like the the essence of alcohol there that reminds me i don't know if it's the nose and flavor combination but it does have a little bit of like a medicinal side it's heavy the body on it's nice though i will say that there is a fair amount of tannins and i think that's partially because there's still some stuff floating around in here i do wonder with some time um I, obviously alcohol will start to fall out a little bit and be, not fall out, but meld a little bit. It doesn't go away over time. The overall honey character is semi-nice. I would not say it's super great. I wish I had enough to back sweeten even a smidge. With this going dry, it it is very hard to do a dry traditional mead in the first place. And it's also hard with a such a delicate honey like this. I will do a... Uh, taste test again in the future maybe giving this some age because obviously i've got two more bottles of it but <clears throat> it's not bad it's not my favorite i would say the honey itself is it's okay it does have this weird kind of medicinal side that's throwing me off and i'm having a hard time getting past it so that's just very fun to think about this bottle right here th this is not even commercial mead status this is home maker home mead maker status with the honey itself is $20. Now, some people are gonna get on here and go, well, I can make a $20 bottle of mead super easy. And they, you know, fruit bomb it and then bear, or honey bomb it and, you know, do all these things to essentially increase the cost to be astronomical. That's not hard to do. What's most interesting about this is the fact that it is honey alone that has created the cost here. So on that note, I don't want to just give my opinion. I think there needs to be a secondary opinion given here. So let me go ahead and call in someone very special to me. All right, I brought someone in extra special to me. My wife is here to go ahead and taste test this as part of it. So I'm gonna go and pour you some. I have somewhat prepared her on this mead because she's heard me talk about it. So she's going to taste test it. And tell me, do you think this mead is worth, um, we, I just totaled out, is about $20 per bottle. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Look, really. It's really, it's a little dry. It's pretty floral. It is dry. I was not going to spend the extra money to back sweeten with this honey because it was. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if you like it or not. It's, no, I do. It is okay to me. It has, it is not the most impressive meat I've had. There's a weird... It's got like a woody, um, or like a nutty. Mm -hmm. Do you it has get a, that? Yeah. In the, the, um, the thing is throwing me off. It has a little bit of that, like, medicinal side that's kind of bothering me that I can't quite get over. Because you got, like, yeah. the alcohol. And it doesn't quite remind me of, like, cough syrup, but it has a little no, bit of, it's like... it's a little alcohol forward, though. Yeah. So it might just be something where alcohol goes away over time. I kind of like it, though. I kind of like the nutty like aftertaste. I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> well, do you think 
um, it's worth going and making a gallon of this for $180. It's pretty, pretty good price, I would say. Mm, no. <laughs> you mean you don't want no. to have this every night on draft? <laughs> no. It I mean, it's... Not for $180. $180. No. That's a great price. That's a 60-pound okay. pail of honey. Yeah, and think of how much you make with a 60-pound pail of honey. You're nuts. So... You've heard it here from not just me. This is not, this is okay. I think it's obviously pretty good, but um, unless you are a very rich person, this is probably not the mead for you. So thanks for watching and cheers.